Hey guys, Grüße aus Deutschland, greetings from Germany. So, we, uh, we saw it coming since uh, Amber and Chantal are only spinning in circles and they're not interesting to react to anymore, which I'm still going to continue doing it, just not as ex extensively as I have been. Um, I wanted to find different content that I can add to this channel and what always interested me were romance scammers and that is because um, they uh, contacted me in the States. I'm gonna that's gonna have to be a, a story time or I'm gonna tell it in uh, episodes like these here um, but um, I also watched scam baiters that um, that bait the scammers uh that for you know the uh, there are different scams like irs scam roman scam and uh, amazon scam and so i used to watch channels like that uh scam baiting the scammers and uh so that was always interesting to me and so i would like to see if this um kind of gets my juices flowing a little bit because I hate to react to the same things over and over again because my brain can only churn up uh, so many different uh, responses or comments on uh, the same things happening over and over again. So let's see uh, what I have to say to this. Welcome back to another episode of Scamfish presented by socialcatfish.com. On today's episode, we speak to a woman named Luna from Australia who met a man named Dr. George Fuller on the dating app Match.com. After agreeing to having an open relationship with her husband, who she also met on Match.com. What? What? So she's in an open relationship. Luna has sent Dr. George around a quarter million dollars in just a few months of knowing him. Today, Luna will open up about her experience with her online romance scam. Real quick, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your comment and like could help stop someone from being scammed. Same for this channel. If you're not subscribed already, I hardly ever ask. Let's get into it. My name is Luna. I'm from Sydney, Australia. I have three adult kids. I do work as a banker. I've been in banking industry for the past, God knows, 20 years or more. It started when my then husband doing some uh, FaceTime with his colleague. And then when I mentioned it to him, he said, um, there's no harm in doing it. You can do it too. Like, you know, um, there's no physical contact. It's just online. He did not think that he was cheating uh, by doing what he did. Hmm. Video chatting or chatting with another person. But they're having an open marriage anyway, so it makes no difference. I actually found out by accident because I saw it on the laptop, um, the messages, because it's seen from his phone. And he didn't realize that, I, you know, that I can see it on the laptop. So when I confronted him, he denied that. He said he was just trying to boost up her confidence um and i say that is not your place to do that because that is her husband or her boyfriend's place to boost her confidence so i feel really betrayed yeah m maybe in a sense that i want to prove to him that i am still attractive i'm still able to find someone else why would they they're in an open marriage. Why would they try to prove to one another that they can still find another person? What is that? It's nothing I can relate to. So that, that was the reason why I went to Match.com. Luna and her husband were going through a tough time. They both ag so sounds like. agree that it was okay to date online as long as neither of them come in contact with the person they were dating. That's when Luna logged on to Match.com and a man who claimed he was a doctor reached out to her. Oh, of course. They always have an academic title. I didn't really uh, browse through it. I was just doing it for fun. And um, I was approached. George Mahler contacted me via Match.com. He just introduced himself as a doctor, a neural surgeon working for MSF which is Doctors Without Borders in Yemen. 
And what, he's like 30 years old and she's 60? And he explained himself to be a widow. His wife, widower, died seven years ago. And he's currently stationed in Sana'a in Yemen. When he saw my um, profile. Uh, yeah, 57 years old. Um, he was um, intrigued with me and he would like to have a, a real relationship because he hasn't found anyone for the past seven years. Dr. George Marlowe. That's very believable. <laughs> looks really like a professional doctor. What, throwing up the doses makes him look professional or is she talking about the outfit? A good looking guy, really tall, really kind looking person. That doesn't make him an, a, a professional doctor. And I thought, okay, you know, as a doctor, he, he fits all the criteria, he fits all the, you know, the, it just very believable that he's a doctor. Her, her reasoning is a little bit flawed here, I think. I wasn't, I didn't have any um, suspicion at all. Yeah, she has a different perception of a doctor. When I look at the picture, three times a day, he will message me via WhatsApp. Dr. Muller and Luna began to text every day. Uh, and see, so they exchanged pictures right away. And this is what I never get about these romance scams. Um, I would do a reverse lookup, you know, put, put the picture in a software and uh, have it detect where else on the Internet it has been used. And you could have easily found out that that is not him. Although they never video chatted or talked on the phone. They Which is strange, too. Because uh, I told you guys on my other channel, I met my first husband in, in person in a, at a club and my second husband um, through Yahoo Messenger. And uh, I wouldn't have chatted with him for weeks on end. I wanted to hear his voice. I wanted to hear if he is uh, capable of speaking English without an accent, which is strange because I can't. <laughs> but he said he's from the States and so he had to prove that. And so... I uh, I wanted to hear his voice, to hear the vibration in his voice, like Amberlynn Reed, for example, has the notorious liar vibration in her voice. And so I would have been able to, to hear, or at the time I thought so, he's the one that turned out to be a sociopath, um, I would have been able to detect uh, negative vibes, which I wasn't, but I felt good about the uh, phone conversations and... Um, but but not having a phone conversation and no video chat, okay. They didn't go a morning or night without texting each other. Back in my mind, I was like, oh, this is this email is really it's like a storybook. I said, oh, you can be a a, a writer. You 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 write such a good story. Like, it's, is this real? Just make me feel like on cloud nine. Like basically, I, I feel I have all the attention, the love, and. Probably about less than a month later, he would say, uh, uh, you know, why are you doubting me? I said, well, you know, I don't know who you are. I said, well, uh, just prove to me that who you really are. So that was when he sent me a snapshot of his passport that showed who he was, like American citizen, date of birth. That was when I said, oh, OK, uh, I'm sorry that I doubted. Well, they're blurring everything out. It's not really anything I can see. The background of his picture is kind of strange. You. I said, you know, uh, I have been burned before and I have been hurt by my past relationship, my past marriages, and I built up this wall and I don't simply just say I love you. Oh, that's what that was about. And, she's, and he said, yeah, no wonder you never use the L word. I said, yeah, it's not something that... Well, the scammers kind of use it fast, you know, after like a week. I use easily uh, until I feel more comfortable with a person. Dr. Muller was moving really fast. He was telling Luna he loved her within a week of knowing her. There you go. All of the things that he told her felt like it was straight out of a fairy tale storybook. Yeah, I felt really good. Like I felt love. I felt he said the right thing. He said all the beautiful things, all the right things. And yeah, but then see, I just want you to feel comfortable with me. I want to gain your trust. You can't force that. You got to give that, you know, if this was real, if this wasn't a scammer, just trying to scam her out of money, uh, you know, in, in real life, in a healthy relationship or the beginning of a healthy relationship, 
uh, people don't push like that. That made me feel, just feel so much love. I should have listened to my head instead of my heart. Yeah. Because at that time they were red flags. A few times I tried to call him and he said, oh, I can't, I can't talk to you right now. The internet connection is no good. At this point. Well, then I would have told him, call me back when you get into an area that has a better internet connection. Point. Luna was really starting to fall for this man. He told her that he had a house for her in his hometown, Durham, North Carolina, and they would travel the world together. The way he painted this picture of the life that we are going to have in Durham, the, you know, we are going to have two houses here in Sydney. Uh, and okay, back up the romance truck. Isn't it that in the beginning of this episode it was said that uh, she was in an open marriage and that they were just going to date online and that they could never um, meet the other person as long as they wouldn't meet somebody in real life it would be okay. And now uh, he's talking about where he is or where he's going to be and meeting in real life. I thought that wasn't part of the deal. So he writes, when I finish my job, we're going to have two beautiful homes. She can't li move to a different home. And she lives in Australia. So even if nothing had been arranged between her and her husband in the open marriage, that they can't meet anybody in real life, this is not making any sense. I can't wait to start my life with you. That should have been the point, if this was all real, that uh, Luna should have said, yeah, I can't, uh, I can't have a life with you because I'm already with my husband. The other one in Durham, it painted all this future. He was supposed to purchase uh, medical equipment. I help. I need to buy medical equipment. I need your help, baby. I'm having connection problems and I need you to log into my bank account. Yeah, that should have been a major red flag. Help him because he said he has. I, I help him because he said he has ISP. Okay. ISP or internet connection problem in Yemen, so he gave me all his internet details. Then how did he send her that message? Since he had internet problems, that went through the internet too. Details or internet banking details to make the transfer to this uh, Ozunku. Uh, medicals in Turkey for the remaining balance that he need to pay. This is when it all started. Luna went to BNC Digital Truist dot Truist shouldn't that be trust if it's a bank name? Com logged into Dr. Mueller's bank account with the information he sent her and wire transferred his money from his bank account to begin the payment, starting with a four hundred and twenty-five thousand dollar wire transfer for the medical supply. That was when I tried to uh, use his internet banking to make the payment and it, the account was blocked. And then he said, oh, would you be able to help me? You know, I, I will pay you back. And would you be able to lend some money to me? Absolutely not, dude. I don't know why so many people still fall for these guys when the word is all over the internet. And even those that are not, and she doesn't seem to be one of them, she's not uh, one of the people um, that completely stays away from the internet and has like younger generation deal um, with things for her. Um, word must have spread, you know, you got to be careful. And because I saw his account, which has like over 3.5 million and with the payment of 450,000, he still got 2 million uh, USD. So I did. I help him with the first pot in Italy. That okay, I will help you with these payments, but you have to pay me back. I thought she made the transfers from his account. I'm confused. It was 92,500 euro. I have to do like five payments because it is a multiple of 20,000 every day. And then uh, the second problem was when... A I need to borrow more money, babe. I need to finish the payments on this child. One month later. A month later, when it's supposed to be another pot in uh, UK. And, and then the last payment was supposed to be in Port Luciana, which is currently... 
I will need to borrow more money. This is the last payment. Please send me the money ASAP. Still being held there in April. So within a three months period, I help him with all this money. Luna started sending the money through wire transfer to Dr. Muller. She wanted to get all of these payments done and over with so she could finally meet this man in person. Why? The agreement with her husband was clearly that they wouldn't meet anybody in real life. How much sense does this make? Her bank account would only allow her to transfer $10,000 at a time. Dr. Muller's problems just never stopped. She sent wire transfer after wire transfer until her bank account was completely drained. Okay, but that is just uh, pure stupidity. I mean, a simple check, a reverse look up of his uh, pictures would have told her that it's not him at all. All the transactions that I have gone through was from my savings initially. When I run out of money in my own saving, I have to sell my shares. My life saving, gone. I, I can't feel, really feel sorry for her though. She seems like an intelligent uh, lady that is uh, still, you know, mentally active and that could have figured this out. And I wouldn't even say anything if she was really interested, like like if, if you know, that part with her husband and uh, both of them finding somebody online but never meeting them in real life, if that agreement uh, wasn't in place, I wouldn't say anything. But uh, she's trying to, it seems to be her goal to meet him in uh, person. Yeah, that, those were my life savings. I was even going to sell my Rolex watch at one stage. I can only... Oh, poor baby. Get less than half I pay for, so so I didn't sell that. Um, but I lost all my entire savings. Um, no, 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 you didn't lose your savings. You gave them away. I'm not used to not having money. Dr. George Muller is supposed to come here on April 29, 2022. Of course, he never arrived because he, he said he got uh, detained in... Detained in the in the airport i need your help uh... in qatar in doha and i feel really uh scared of my uh safety because he has my address because he was supposed to come here in the end i told my husband to move back just for a security reason because i'm i'm living on my own and my husband okay what is she talking about so her husband that she's in an open relationship with moved back into the house in australia because she got scared of that Dr. Muller arriving. Encourage me to go on the online dating. That drove me to this person. Yeah, but you were also not supposed to meet him in uh, real life. And then when he moved out, I felt the loneliness and I need someone to talk to. So if he didn't say that, I never done this. Definitely, he pushed me to towards this. It, it, you made all these decisions. Nobody held a gun to your head when you transferred all that money, right? That's why when he moved out, he didn't have any money to live on. He, he was broke, but he was, he's always broke. His account are always like nearly zero. He doesn't have any money. No one in my family, not my husband, not my children, not my best friend, no one knows what I have gone through. Yeah, you're kind of ashamed, aren't you? Because you should have known better. I'm just too embarrassed to talk to my family or my friends. I just can't believe that I lost all this money. 275,000 Australian dollars. All Come on, you, ha you had not met him. Actually, you shouldn't have had a desire to meet him since you and your husband said that you're not going to meet people in real life. So what were you aiming for? I don't understand the thoughts that she had. American would be a quarter million. It's a lot of money to lose. And I work hard for that. Yeah, you're probably a pretty smart lady to accumulate this much money, but... Why did you dumb down in order to give it all away? And I, I keep on thinking, how did it happen? Why am I so stupid? And I, I'm beating myself up and I, I couldn't concentrate at work. I just want to find out who they are, but I believe they are Nigerian. I just need 
a confirmation or closure. Okay, I can relate. We took a look at all the information Luna sent us. The first thing we did was check out the website that supposedly had millions of dollars in it. We got the login to the bank account and began investigating. We weren't able to log into the account at first. We received the same message that Luna received when Dr. George claimed the account was locked. We did a little clicking around and we were able to get into the account. This banking site was really glitchy. The website showed that the money was in the account, but after looking at the spelling errors and all of the unclickable buttons on the site, and I could even pull out a $10 billion loan under Dr. Mueller's account. Damn. Well, I can almost guarantee that if he had clicked on that and tried to get that loan, it wouldn't have approved him. We knew this bank was fake. We decided to check the who is history. We found that the site was just created last year. It was obvious that whoever created this site just wanted Luna to feel comfortable with lending Dr. Mueller money. There you go. And she saw his money and that made her trust him. Next, we ran a reverse image search on the photos. We were able to find the real man in minutes. Hold on though, guys. We have a quick message from our sponsor. If you're looking... They're not my sponsor and so I'm not showing that. It was time to sit down with Luna and tell her what we had found. So, has anything changed since your first interview? Does your husband know anything about this whole thing? I have um, not s spoken to him in regards to this. Huh? Didn't she say earlier that she asked her husband to move back in with her because she was scared of the guy that was detained in the airport? that she was planning on meeting in real life? Um, I went and saw my psychiatrist, oh, psychologist on Monday as well as my doctor on Monday and we agree that um, he doesn't need to know because... Oh, he doesn't need to know. Oh, because she's... because I'm going away anyway. Oh, okay, that's a nice therapist to have. Okay. Because uh, I'm going away anyway, so um, it's no point like letting him know now. And Why not, though? That is something you did. Why not tell him now? And then, who knows what will happen while I'm away. Well, she's probably going to keep looking for somebody in real life now that she knows that she's interested in meeting somebody in real life and not just online dating. Who knows what will happen while I'm away. I will be away for at least 12 weeks. You know, I don't want to rock the boat. Yeah, that's usually a mistake. Um, by telling him right now. So. Yeah, but you made the mistake. I mean, why not? What if the plane crashed and your husband would find out some other way? That would be sad for him, wouldn't it? So I'm not ready to open up to my husband nor my children. <laughs> okay, she seems like a really legit mm, person that maybe that has deserved this experience. Uh, I'm not ready to uh, open up to my husband nor my children. Are you concerned with him finding out that you, you were in a relationship or the money that was lost? Probably both. Yes, correct. Um, that was another reason why um, he moved back because I I need um, assistance in regards to paying off my mortgages. And how did she sell that to him? Um, so this is not my only properties. I have other investment properties um, whereby he was uh, occupying when we were separated when I asked him to move out. Um, so she asked him to move in to help with the mortgages. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yes, yeah, so I need the extra income to service. Huh, you said he's always broke. Man, there are so many red flags in this story. I don't know. Especially the, um, the interest rate has increased recently. That's one of the first really true things she's saying. For the past uh, few weeks, it has increased a couple of times. Okay. So yes, I am currently 
don't have that reserve anymore. I used to have emergency fund or a huge reserve, but they are all gone. It's because you gave them away? Of course, he doesn't know that, so I don't want him to, you know, ask. But he knows about the savings and the reserve, so uh, does he not ask questions about... Oh, it says there, ask questions and all that. And I'm going to be away. Uh, is he not wondering why all of a sudden she has financial problems when she's been putting money aside throughout her entire adult life? Questions and all that, and I'm going to be away. I just don't want to rock the boat. Strange, and he just buys it. Sounds like you both have deserved each other. Liars, cheaters. A lot of scams stem from the situations or the relationships that people are in or came from. All these years, um, I have been the, uh, how should I put it, um, I suppose like breadwinner because my husband never have any money left. Yeah, and all of a sudden all of your savings are gone and he doesn't ask any questions? Every payday, he will give three quarters of his pay towards our household expenses and then he will spend whatever left in his in his account so he has never ever had savings so so she had the savings and yet he doesn't ask where all the money went all these years for the past 10 years i have been the one that is managed has been managing the uh, our finances oh well, that was a smart move and he doesn't know that i also accumulated some savings throughout these 10 years oh so he didn't Oh, he doesn't. Okay. Yes, and um, even when when I was in a relationship or online relationship with Dr. George, in regards to my 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 trip to U.S., that was another reason why I'm going to the U.S. Is firstly, I want to do something for myself, and I want to get away from my current uh, environment. Current environment and situation. Okay, do something for herself. Like what? Find herself somebody else do some scam herself so that she can uh, make up for the money she just gave away? A situation, um, you know, my doctor and my uh, psychologist um, did think that, um, yeah, it is a good move. Yeah, so you ran out of money, you have no more savings. Your current husband doesn't know what happened to them, but then again, he didn't know. So she's been hiding stuff from him for those 10 years anyway. And so now her doctor thinks it's a good idea to travel to the States for three months. Okay, that makes absolutely no sense to me. You sent, I think, about $200,000 worth of wire transfers to George to a Turkish bank account. So we called the headquarters of the Turkish bank and the customer service was terrible. I asked them if they had a fraud department for their bank, right? Because all fraud, all banks should have a fraud department and they completely avoided the question. How can you avoid a question when they don't answer the question you just ask again? Or you say, as an adult, uh, you still haven't answered my question. Do you have a fraud department? If not, why not? We checked out the bank's reviews. Uh, we saw a lot of odd reviews. I think you should probably just take a look at them and you'll see what I'm talking about. So the next thing we want to talk about, Luna, is Dr. George. So you had come to Social Catfish and you ran Dr. George's images through your account and what had happened was you had found out who the real person was in the image so that real person is dr parker so what we had done is we had reached out to dr parker through instagram and he actually got back to us with a statement so what he had said was is it happens all of the time probably hundreds of women have contacted me saying someone is using my photos I've tried to report as many as I can, but most of the time, they're not taken down. There is no way I can control it. Hmm, maybe you should stop posting pictures that make you come off as somebody that uh, 
flaunts his uh, wealth. Maybe that needs to stop. Like, I don't get it. When somebody looks like that, like, I don't find him particularly attractive. But uh, he's not bad looking either, right? And if he's a doctor and he's that rich and he's got all the race cars and stuff or that one... Uh, why do they have to flaunt that? I mean, people around them in their real life see what kind of car they drive, what they look like, and what they do for a living. So I don't get that whole online dating thing in cases like that. I mean, generally, I think it's a good idea. It's a great idea. I used it too. How do you feel about online dating? Definitely, I'm not going to do that anymore. Well, hopefully, and maybe you turn into a more honest person when it comes to your relationships um i did not want to go on in the first place i did it just out of spite and okay and then you totally got lost um i wouldn't never want to go back again never yeah because you went about it the wrong way why send money and these amounts look at these amounts right why send money to a complete stranger that refuses your phone calls and that you still haven't had a video conference with come on um i don't believe in that anymore um uh, well it does work but you can't just send your life savings away and uh you know that was extremely stupid yeah however on the flip side, I met my current husband actually on Mesh.com 10 years ago. Yeah, he seems to be challenged in several ways too. Trusting you with the money, giving three quarters of his income away to you. Wow. And he doesn't even know you have savings. A lot of things must have changed. I believe uh, there was no verification of the profile created now uh you know that was my downfall my own fault yeah you should have checked into it uh 10 years ago it wasn't like that that's why um i would not ever go back to do anything online that's probably better not even just other sites no way i, I don't believe in that anymore um yeah ne never ever will do that again um I, you know, it's just not worth the um, emotional, it just, just, I'm just not in the right headspace after that, so. No, you need to clean up your life. I mean, your life savings are gone. You have a husband who you lie to and he's uh, doing online dating and you're trying to meet men in real life. You guys should be busy fixing that, right? No, ne never. I would never ever go back on anything online. Okay, we get it. The reason for me sharing this story is to help other people um, who might go through the same experience. Um, also, maybe prevent future people from being scammed. Okay, noted. Um, just, unfortunately, they are evil people in the world. That's why you don't trust everybody that calls himself Dr. George Muller. Muller with just a U and no dots on top. I mean, you know, there are people that are called that. But uh, you don't just trust them with your life savings. I mean, come on. You're a special case. I'm just trying to do the good things. So hopefully something will come back. Yeah, like a man meeting you in real life and you shouldn't have counted on that because that wasn't the agreement with your husband. Good deeds come back to me. Who knows? Yeah, it don't, 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 I wouldn't hold my breath if I was you because you've put a whole lot of shit out there now. We appreciate your time, Luna, and we thank you again for, you know, taking the time, sharing your story and being brave and, and opening up about, you know, what has happened to you. Yeah, thank you. Um, it hasn't been easy. Um, mentally, I'm still trying to get over this. Oh, mentally you are. Emotionally, not so much, huh? Uh, but I just have to be thankful and grateful that at least I did not lose all my um, whatever I have. I still got something at least to fall back on. That's not what you said earlier when you said you lost your life savings. This woman is, uh, I don't know. 
if she, like she said all her life, she's been a banker and uh, she said in front of me, she's not trustworthy to me and this is not based on this episode here. It's the way she talks and she talks, uh, you know, beating around the bush and being vague. Mm -mm. Not my style at all. Luna has moved on from Dr. George Muller. She is using the plane ticket that she originally bought him to go on a vacation to California for herself. Uh, sure. Yeah, I don't know, guys. This was just an attempt. Um, I'm going to do a few more of these and see if they get any better, more interesting. And we'll see. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.